Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tarot for Twin Flames. So today we're doing a powerful one, we're doing the Temperance card. So we're going to look at the card in detail together and then we're going to come back and talk about it in relation to the Twin Flame journey. So let's look at this card, tap in and see what it wants you to know. Temperance. How does this card make you feel? Does it make you feel at peace? Does it make you feel at ease? Does it let you know that angels are all around you and there is nothing to fear? Because that's really what the card is showing to you. That beautiful angel asking you to trust and have faith that all of your dreams are manifesting and everything is falling into place. So let's go through the card together. So first of all, we've got the number at the top and that's the number 14. And that's knowing that Whatever you're facing, whatever you are doing, the angels are all around you. So it really is a message about angel protection and also about whatever changes come in, you know, to leave behind the past symbolized by the X there, the number one about the new beginning and the V about the changes. So everything that you're being guided to do is being guided from heaven for your higher good. And the first thing that I'm really drawn to is the red wings. And the red wings are a symbol of Archangel Metatron and his power, the power of divine timing. You can also see around the angel's head there, you've got all that illumination energy. So the illumination of Archangel Uriel coming in. So this is really a card that symbolizes patience, taking your time, feeling at peace, calming down, doing things in moderation, but knowing that the angels are guiding you and that they always have your back. So when I'm connecting with this, I feel Archangel Uriel illuminating you, helping you to remember who you are and to tap in with all of the beautiful aspects of you. Patience, compassion, forgiveness, empathy, understanding and love so that you start to operate from your higher self. And you don't pay attention to the ego. And you can see there we've got that beautiful triangle on in the heart space. So this is symbolizing opening the heart. And in the twin flame journey, the triangle representing the divine feminine, the divine masculine and your connection with the creator, with source, with the angels, with heavenly realm. So it's the three point aspect of it. So it's about when we open our heart we see with the eyes of love, not fear. We learn to respond with love, not fear. We have patience because that is power. And that leads to peace and calming energy because we know and trust that the angels are with us, assisting us, helping out, helping us to feel strong. The beautiful crown there is the symbol of your power and that you were given that power from heaven. And the cups are about creating and filling up your life, that you fill up your life, that you can create your destiny and that your destiny awaits you now. So the beautiful water is about taking it slow. You know, you may need to test the water, knowing that all paths lead home. So you're moving into the water there, being asked to go with the flow and take your time and not rush anything. Because when we rush things and force things, it creates pain. We need to be flexible and adaptable. We need to be patient and calm and open our heart to our truth to see both sides of a situation. So really the temperance card, yes, it's a card about patience and balance and taking your time and doing everything in moderation. But really it's a message to operate from your higher self to respond with love, not fear. That anytime you go into panic or confusion, meditate, breathe, come back into the moment and call on heaven, pray, because when we ask, we receive. And really, it's the ultimate message that is one of my favorite quote, quotes from the Bible in 1 Corinthians 13, 4 to 8. It says, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking and it is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrongs. It does not delight in evil, but it rejoices in truth. And it always protects, always trusts 
and always hopes. It always perseveres because love never fails. And the really the message there is forgive, trust the journey and know that all is well. And that's what those beautiful flowers blooming here are showing to you, that this journey is blooming and it's growing. And the more that you trust and believe, the quicker things will turn around. So when the temperance card comes out in a reading, you know the best way and the best way to make it happen is to have patience, to relax, to breathe, to calm your energy. And Archangel Haniel around this energy too, bringing in peaceful energy, helping you to feel calm and take back your power and to go with the flow. And that's what I'm seeing with the clothing that the angel is wearing, that beautiful flowing gown to go with the flow. And the beautiful flower on the forehead symbolizing, you know, seeing things with beauty and joy and love. And that will allow everything to bloom in your life. So magic ahead, power, illumination. So this is a card of unconditional love, a card where patience is power. So if this comes up for you, it's reminding you to have patience. If this comes up for your twin, it's asking you to have patience with them as they find their way, as they test the water and break the ice and move towards you. And if you see this in the reverse position or it comes up with, you know, aspected cards that indicate it's in the reverse position, you may not be being patient enough. You may be feeling impatient, frustrated, angry going through, you know, all these ego-based feelings that you need to control because, you know, it's very much connected with the devil energy and the fear around that when it's in reverse. So take your time when the temperance card comes up. Know that all paths lead home on your journey. What's meant for you will be for you because the angels will make it so. It's a sign to have compassion towards yourself and others and your twin flame, a sign to try and see both sides of the story, to use empathy and compassion understanding to lead to the outcome that you seek. And that if there's any fear or worry or any stress, ask for help, pray, breathe, meditate, go in nature and learn to trust in divine timing. Learn to operate from your higher self where you respond with love instead of reacting with fear and that's going to move everything into your life at the right time in divine time because that's always the best time and that's the message of the temperance card such a beautiful message when we get the temperance card very quick to the point the angels are saying patience is power trust in divine time you know that all is well and i love that this is the first card we've got coming out when I've changed the cloth on the table because this is the beautiful blue and you've got the beautiful blue here and it's really the colour that says to you, relax, go with the flow, take your time. What you are seeking is seeking you with the energy of Archangel Shamuel, the finding angel, Archangel Sandalfin, the angel who answers your prayers and hears your prayer saying to you, ask me for help, we're here to assist you. Your journey is in divine timing. So really a message coming from heaven to say, be patient, be calm, find your center, tap in with your heart space to feel your peace, operate in love, and that will give you power. And also to have faith that the angels are protecting you as you move ahead. So the temperance card says, be patient and calm to achieve the results you seek. The, the results you seek could be twin flame union. You know, you, this is a twin flame tarot series. So, you you know, you're wondering how it's affecting you, how it's affecting your journey. And anytime there's confusion, and that's what I'm feeling. Anytime you're confused and you can't see a way out or you don't know if it's going to happen, you start doubting things. Be patient and calm to achieve the results you seek. So that in that moment, that result that you seek may be peace, clarity, understanding. Be patient and calm to achieve union. Don't rush it. You know, don't try and run before you can walk. Be patient and understanding and have compassion. It says be flexible and adaptable to change and be at peace with your journey. So when this card comes up, 
Say if you've made plans to meet your twin flame and then they cancel on you. You're being reminded to have patience, to be flexible and adaptable, to not take it personally because there just may be something better being created in the other right now. In other words, it may not be the right conditions for you guys to meet at that moment. And the angels know that. So a delay or a block comes in so that when you do meet up, it's going to be so much better and so much more beautiful than it would have been if it had all gone to plan. So remember, there is always a plan. Even when things don't go to plan, in your eyes, from your perception, from your thoughts, it's going to plan in some other way. So be at peace with the journey. And the way you find that is out in nature. You know, this angel is in nature, connecting with the ocean or this lovely stream. So another way that we can feel calm is by connecting with water because we are made up of water. So when we connect with it, it heals us. It's very cleansing. We feel rejuvenated and we feel at peace. So for the feminine, I am learning. So remember, you are learning always on this journey, but you are learning the true meaning of unconditional love and patience. You realize that patience is power. Patience is releasing fear, thank you, around the when and the how and the if and giving that to heaven, but also about learning to enjoy this moment now. That's what true patience is. It's not about waiting around. It's learning to enjoy everything you're doing. You know, learning to dance in the rain. Even when you feel like things are going wrong, it's about knowing that it's going right. And unconditional love, that love does not demand its own way. That love is patient and love is kind. And it's not self-seeking. So we release the ego. We learn to let go of control. We learn to have faith. We learn to call on our angels and trust in the signs that we see. So usually when we get the temperance card, we're receiving lots of physical signs or downloads of information or number sequences from heaven or signs and synchronicities that show you the truth that this is real. Another way the angels communicate with you to have faith and to trust that all is well and there really is nothing to fear. So you learn Divine Feminine on this journey and with the Temperance card what the true meaning of unconditional love is. And what is unconditional love? It means love that does not need it a certain way. Love that does not demand or have conditions. You can't put conditions on an unconditional love. All we have to do is release expectation because it's expectation that leads to disappointment. It's okay to visualize the end result and anticipate it. But when we expect it, we get burned. So release the expectations. Instead, change it to an anticipation and excitement feeling and then enjoy the journey that you are on. And that's why the masculine says with the temperance card, I must do things at my own pace. So he's saying, I have to do it my way. You know, I have to do it at my own pace because that is how I will follow through on my plans. So he won't follow through on his plans if he feels forced or rushed or agitated. You know, he'll shut down and run away. And that's why things can change. So he's saying, this is why I must do it at my own pace because I want to follow through on my plans. And when you give me the time, the space and the room, when you trust me to find my way and you have patience with me, I will always follow through. And that's why on this journey, slow and steady always wins the race. So when the temperance card is coming out, you're being asked to trust, to believe, to have faith, to use your power by connecting with heaven and calling in the angels to illuminate you to the truth, to bring in clarity that's why Uriel's coming through to help you to trust the timing of it with Archangel Metatron, to find your peace in your center with Archangel Honiel and to trust in the path ahead because it really is the truth that all paths lead home. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.